today we're going to be talking No Bless by Ellen Billy in the color Bahama Beige Shaded. Hello, my friends. Welcome. So today we're going to be talking about this new style here by Ellen Villa, and this is No Bless. I want to start off by just saying, oh my goodness, this is so lightweight. This wig is, I think it may be the lightest wig I've ever felt on my head, and I've had quite a few on this head. So I am very, very happy with the way that this cap is feeling right now, y'all. I'm bringing you guys this review in partnership with Name Brand Wigs. If you guys ever have any wig-related questions or you just need some help and guidance, you can contact them at support at namebrandwigs.com or just give them a call. They are there happy and ready to help. And I also have a coupon code to share with you guys for 30% off on selected brands. So be sure to check in my description box which brands that code's good for. And the code is KIM30. No Bless is a long style here with some wispy layers all in her. I love that. Personally, I just love when I get a wig that has all this layering going through her, especially like the little wispy layers. I think that is just so pretty. This girl features a mini lace front is what they call it. And that means it just has lace right here, right here in this area. I will say, I have to be honest about that because I, even though I am very happy at least at least they did give us something there because it does come with this center part and I am happy that there is lace there. However, I really, really wish that they would have at least gave us a temple to temple lace front just because it would allow us to pull the bangs back a little more away from the face. And so we are really limited to how we style this one just because of that little mini lace front. It's not going to allow us to do a whole lot. If you just like your hair just like this all the time, no problem. No problem at all. However, I'm the kind of girl that I like to get in there and I'm always touching my hair and doing things and I like to play with my wigs and I like to pull it back away from the face sometimes. With this one being so lightweight, it's not bothering me. I do get some wigs that are heavier in the front, so I do appreciate it when I get that full lace front and I, it allows me to pull the bangs back and get it out of my face and I feel confident doing that. It's not bad, but I would absolutely prefer a least temple to temple lace front. Another little thing I just want to point out is that with mine anyways, the little mini lace front here, it wants to just stick right up. As soon as I touch the bangs or, you know, to go sweep them back away from the face, that it even lifts up more. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is just easily, easily raised up. So when I do wear this one out and about, I will use a little It Stays. Just put it right there and glue that little mini lace front down. It's going to make me feel more confident if I reach up and to sweep my bangs away from my face or whatever. It's not going to move. So that problem is easily solved with just some It Stays or Got to Be Glue. No Bless is a part of their Modix collection. This girl has a petite average size cap. I have a petite size head measuring 21 inches in circumference, and I actually had to use the adjustable straps on this one and tighten them up. And I'm also wearing a wig grip under here. It's not because I have to, it's because I want to. I, like I've said before, I'm just kind of used to wearing my wig grip now instead of just the cap. So 
I, I'm sure that I would be okay not wearing a wig grip, but I just prefer to do that. So the measurements on this girl is her front here is 9.25 inches. The crown is 13 and a half inches. Her sides are nine and a half inches. And that nape measures 10 and a half inches. And this girl weighs 4.1 ounces super super light and it's i think it mostly has to do with the way that this cap is made and designed it is so comfortable y'all so comfortable and this is very low density here let's go ahead and take a look at the inside of her cap hopeless has this mini lace front here she has some velvet liner up here, which makes this cap even more comfortable. I do appreciate that. Bendable ear tabs, adjustable straps, and she has a monofilament hand tie, but it is over wefts here. And she does have like a tool material sewn up front here, all in this area so lightweight and comfortable y'all now let's take a look at her all the way around The color Bahama Beige Shaded is a medium honey blonde with light ash blonde highlights and a very light red brown undertones. Okay, thank you guys so much for joining me today, but before you go, be sure to subscribe, share, like, and comment. And if you're over on Instagram or Facebook, you'll find me there at Let's Talk With Kim. Stay well, my friends, and I'll see you soon in my next video.